Hi everyone, this is Miss Curson and I'm here to tell you about the Technical Award in Performing Arts, which is what we offer at Key Stage 4 at Victory. It is a Level 1 and Level 2 qualification and it is the equivalent to a GCSE. So a very brief overview to start with about the course itself. There are three units to this course. Unit 1 and Unit 2 are both coursework units. They're both internally examined and then we send the work to an external moderator to verify our marks and each one of those is worth 30%. Then we have Unit 3, the Performing Arts Experience, and that is a 90-minute written paper that you get two attempts at and that's worth 40% of the exam. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it is both a level one and a level two qualification. So at level one, you're awarded either a credit or an advanced credit. And then when we get to level two, which is what the majority of you will get, you get awarded a pass, a merit, a distinction or a distinction star. And for each of the units, you get awarded either a level one credit, advanced credit, pass, merit, distinction. And then that is all percentaged and worked out for your overall result. We do encourage you to get involved in our extracurricular activities if you take this course. So we will ask you to sign a contract and ask your parents to sign a contract because a lot of the work, especially in Unit 3, the written paper, is based on your own experience. So, for example, the big question at the end, which is worth nine marks, is usually about a performance that you have been involved with. And if you haven't been involved with anything, a, you're not building up those skills, and B, you've got nothing to write about. So we ask that you take part in two of our extracurricular things that we offer. It could be um, the main school show. It could be uh, the summer concert. It could be stage lit. It could be rock challenge if that comes back. It could be anything that we do. Um, and it could be backstage, on the stage, front of house, anything at all to get you involved and building up your experience and show that you're committed to performing arts because performing arts is more than just attending lessons. It's about getting that holistic experience of um, being involved as part of a company. As well as the performing aspect, there is a lot of written work in this course. And I'm just gonna go into a little bit more detail about that now. So what do we do? Well, in year nine, we build up your skills. So year nine, we will look at lots of different things that will be um, some written work to pay you for year 10 and 11, but also a lot of performing things. And we will expect you to take part in uh, a combination of acting, singing and dancing. So, for example, um, our year nines tend to start off with living statues. Um, you might have seen them at our open evenings where they are around the academy. So we might give them a brief and say you need to provide uh, be a living statue for this theme. And that's what they would come up with. You might then do a dance unit. Um, the current year nines are working on Gene Kelly and Gene Kelly's style of dancing. You might take in part in Stage Lit. Um, last year, we were able to go to the Playhouse and take part in some Shakespeare performances there. You might um, just, we might do some musical theatre so that you take part in that. Something so you can experience and try something that you might not have tried before. But if one of those things isn't your thing, that is the only time in this course you will have to do it. So, for example, I'm not a dancer, but I would only have to do that in year nine. After that little section in year nine, I don't have to touch dance again. The same as um, if I don't want to act, I don't have to act again in year 10 and 11. I'm not going to explain how I'm, what I mean by that. So in year 10, we start unit one. And as it says on my uh, sheet here, unit one, you will work as a member of a company and you will choose a performance and a production role. So from performance roles, we mean that you will either choose to be a singer, an actor, a dancer or musical theatre, which is a combination of all three, or and you will also choose a production role. Now, that could be something like marketing. It could be costume. It could be makeup. It could be set design. Uh, it could be front of house. It could be um, what else have we got? My mind's gone blank now. But it could be anything to do with the stage management, anything to do with the technical side of theatre. And you will work as your company to respond to a brief that is set by the exam board. Now, on this page as well, you can also see a brief that has been set. So this is called barriers. And this is what you as a company would create your piece about. So it's a bit like Dragon's Den. You're going to pitch your ideas to 
um, myself or whoever is teaching the course as to what you would do in as a performance in response to that brief. And you will carry out your role as a performer and as a person in the production side of things in this pitch. But along with this pitch, you will also produce a 40 page portfolio of all your ideas, starting with your skills, then all your research into the idea of barriers, research into your role and your responsibilities, research into how you develop your piece and the characters and the costumes and the set and the venue that you are going to use and your health and safety and all that written work will come together in a portfolio, but then you will present it in a pitch. And to support your pitch, you and your company will produce 10 minutes worth of vignettes. And a vignette is a little extract that you think are the most important parts of your um, story that you've created. And you will perform those as well as your, um, your uh, pitch. And that will be done in year 10. And you will be marked by us. And then those marks will get sent off to the exam board. And that will be unit one complete at the end of year 10. We will also sit the written paper in year 10 because as I mentioned earlier you get two chances to sit this written paper. It's worth 40% of the total exam and um, so it makes sense to sit it twice because your highest mark will be the mark that is taken. So if you sit your exam at the end of year 10 and you meet your target grade on the exam we won't ask you to take it again for year 11. That will be done in the bag, dusted. But if you don't quite get what we want you to get, then we've also got that extra year to sit the exam. Now, the exam is in three sections, and there is a mixture of small, um, short answer questions, multiple choices, and long answer questions. And we will work through the, ex the exam content as we work through the portfolio, because it's synoptic. It all sort of links in together. But it will also be taught to you by your knowledge organisers and quizzes, so that hopefully by the time we get to the end of year 10, there shouldn't be much of a surprise as what is going to come up in that exam. The biggest thing about the exam is you have to gain a level two pass on the exam paper itself to get a level two pass on the whole thing. So it's really important we make sure that you get that mark. And that mark works out at about, um, I think it's about 30 marks out of 80. We then get into year 11 and to year 11, we start a completely different unit, which is unit two. And again, you work as a member of a company, but this time um, you only choose one role. So you will choose either a performance role or a production role. It doesn't matter which one it is. It could be the same as what you've done before. It could be you want to cho choose something differently. You will get another brief from the exam board and you have five briefs to choose from for this. And you again will create a performance based on the brief from the exam board. Along with this, you create a logbook and then you perform your piece to an audience. This is very much practical, this unit, which is really good. We will then perform these to an audience around the uh, March, April time. And then those of you that need to retake your unit three uh, exam paper will retake it again in May. And as, we, as in year 10, we went uh, we go all the way through with uh, working on the exam paper in accordance with the unit two as well. So that basically is an overview of uh, performing arts. I absolutely love this course and I think it's got so much to offer and so many different activities. But you have to be invested in it as a member of performing arts and you have to really want to do it because it does take a lot of time, uh, especially when you have to get together in your own time to rehearse and make sure your performances are the best that they can be. If you have any questions at all, please come and ask me or ask Mrs. Daglish or Mr. Ormerod or email us and we will do uh, our utmost to get back to you and uh, let you know anything that I haven't covered in this video. Thanks for watching.